Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to use Scratch to create some computer graphics. So using its pen blocks, along with its motion and other blocks, we're going to start by seeing if we can draw a square. So I'm going to drag out a move 10 steps block, let's make that 100, and turn 90 degrees. We'll duplicate this and duplicate it one more time. So we have four sets of blocks that move 100 steps and turn 90 degrees. Hopefully that's going to bring the cat back to its starting position having drawn a square. Let's double click this stack to see if it works. Well it did but it moved so quickly we couldn't see it, and of course the cat didn't put down its virtual pen to draw. Let's give that a try, and you can see that it's drawn a square. If I hide the cat, you'll see the whole square there. And let's show the cat again. Well, as we've seen already, we have four sets of blocks that do the same thing. So it would make sense to get rid of three of them, and using a repeat block, repeat this four times. And if I clear, let's see if the same thing happens. And it does. Now I could change this program to draw a pentagon. Each pair of blue blocks draws a side of the shape. Now a pentagon has five sides, so I'll have to repeat this five times move 100 steps and turn what well, we're going to have to turn 72 degrees this time. Let's clear the screen and see if it works. And it does. Well, let's create a hexagon, six sides with 60 degrees to turn each time. I'm going to drag out a clear block so I don't have to double click on it every time. Now let's see if I can draw a square, a pentagon, and a hexagon all in a line. So I'm going to duplicate this code. And the first one is going to be the square. So that's four sides with a 90 degree turn each time. Then the pentagon, five sides with a 72 degree turn each time. And lastly, the hexagon. And let's run this stack. Well, it works, but they all have the same starting point. So lastly, I'm going to start the cat at the far end of the screen. I could maybe even make it smaller. And let's always start the cat at the same position. Negative 200, 0. So it's going to be 200 along on the left on the x-axis and right in the centre on the y-axis. So I'll clear, put my pen down and then draw my square. I'm then going to move 150 steps along, draw my pentagon and then move another 150 steps and draw my hexagon. Now pause the video and see if you can work out why this isn't going to draw three completely separate shapes. Now let's run this stack. And we can see that they're all connected. That's because I didn't put the pen up before moving and the pen back down again to get ready to draw the next shape. And I'm going to have to do it here and here as well. Let's put a when green flag clicked there too. Well, I now have three separate shapes, but they get bigger because they all have the same length of side. So I think we're going to have to reduce the length of each side accordingly. So my pentagon, I'll take that down to 80 steps for each side, and my hexagon down to 60 steps. 
and that's almost perfect. Lastly, if we wanted to see these on their own, we could hide the sprite at the very end. So going into Looks, hide the sprite, but let's also show it just as it's getting ready to draw. Finally, let's alter this program to make it draw three squares of the same size in a much more efficient way. So let's get rid of these blocks and I'm going to go into the More Blocks option and I'm going to make a block and I'm going to call it Square. And I'm going to take the steps for the square and put them in the definition for that block. So when I use the block square, it's going to carry out these steps. I'll duplicate these and see if that works. And it does. And in this way, we've reduced the amount of code we have to write each time we want to draw a square because we've, if you like, created our own command to draw a square. We could even include at the end of the square block the code that takes the sprite to its next position without drawing. This would allow us to get rid of those commands. Just have three square commands in a row and that works very nicely. You can imagine how you could quite easily make a whole range of blocks for different shapes. Experiment and have fun!